Acquisition Difficulty Level S There are a variety of ninjutsus in Naruto, but each ninjutsu has its own acquisition difficulty level. And there are six levels of difficulty, ranging from E to S. The lowest difficulty E is considered as academy level, and the highest difficulty S is considered to be the ultimate secret and forbidden jutsu level. And one of the most fascinating aspects of the Naruto series is the powerful clashes of ninjutsu. The bigger the technique, the cooler it looks. But is the difficulty of learning it proportional to the destructive power of the ninjutsu? What about the acquisition difficulty level of Rasengan and Chidori in what was the most heated ninjutsu clash of the series? In today's video, we've compiled the list of the highest acquisition difficulty level. S rank ninjutsu and we'll also be including the rank of the strongest technique for both Sasuke and Naruto. We hope you'll stay with us until the end and check to see if any of your favorite characters jutsu are designated as S rank. Fire style slash lightning style, Kirin. While he doesn't have much of a track record of using it, you could say that Kirin is Sasuke's special move. By utilizing the natural phenomenon of lightning, this jutsu far surpasses the attack power of a normal lightning style. It is a two-stage technique by heating the air with a fire style jutsu to generate a cumulonimbus cloud and then guiding the lightning produced by the cumulonimbus cloud to the target using lightning style chakra. While the Kirin would be able to kill instantly if the opponent did not have a defensive technique on par with Susanoo, as soon as the Mangeku Sharingan was acquired, this jutsu was no longer needed. Space-Time Ninjutsu Flying Thunder God Jutsu The Flying Thunder God Jutsu is an application of the summoning jutsu. It is a time-space ninjutsu that allows you to instantly move to a pre-marked location. This jutsu, which the fourth Hokage Minato used, was developed by Tobirama, the second Hokage. Minato was said by Tobirama to be a better user of the Flying Thunder God Jutsu than himself, and the Flying Thunder God Jutsu was largely responsible for his nickname, Yellow Flash. Originally, it was a jutsu that could only be used by a group of three shinobi to move a single person. However, only Tobirama and Minato were able to use it individually. In fact, when the Hidden Leaf was attacked by the Nine Tails, Minato was able to use the Flying Thunder God without any difficulty, as expected of the Hokage. Forbidden Jutsu – Transference Jutsu From this point onwards are some s rank jutsus that are also considered forbidden. It is a ninjutsu that allows a person to infiltrate their mind into the body of another person and take over that body. Orochimaru said that one life was far from enough to achieve his ambition to develop and complete the infinite number of ninjutsu. This technique was brought about by Orochimaru based on the calculation that by repeatedly reincarnating from an old body to a young body, he would become immortal and, as a result, have unlimited time to research ninjutsu. However, once you use it, you will not be able to reincarnate in another body for the next three years, so it seems that you have to choose your body carefully. Forbidden Jutsu, Kisho Tensei, One's Own Life Reincarnation Kisho Tensei was an ninjutsu used by Granny Chiyo, and like Orochimaru's jutsu mentioned earlier, it's also related to life. It is a jutsu that allows you to share your life force with the targeted person by using all your chakra as a medium. Granny Chiyo used this jutsu to bring Gaara, who died after having the one tail pulled out by Akatsuki, back to life. It is possible to bring even the dead back to life, However, if the jutsu is performed on a dead person, the soul of the caster will be converted into the soul of the dead person, and the caster will surely die. Forbidden Jutsu Slash Summoning Worldly Resurrection If it wasn't for this jutsu, we might never have seen the different generations of Hokage fighting together. It was invented by the second Hokage Tobirama and misused by Orochimaru and Kabuto. Worldly Resurrection is the jutsu of bringing the dead back to life and most forbidden of all the forbidden jutsus. As long as you have the blood or DNA of the target and a sacrifice, a living human, you'll be able to revive even the strongest shinobi. Taking advantage of the fact that he could control the resurrected at will, Orochimaru was able to make even the first and the second Hokage his allies during the Konoha Crush arc. In addition, even if the caster dies, this worldly resurrection jutsu will not be undone and the dead will still remain. The resurrected are immortal, they do not bleed when attacked, and their wounds regenerate quickly. But please be assured 
we'll introduce a special technique to counter such an invincible opponent next. Forbidden Jutsu slash Sealing Jutsu, Shiki Fujin, Dead Demon Consuming Seal. When the Forbidden Art of Shiki Fujin is activated, a sealed figure will appear behind the caster. If you make a contract with the Grim Reaper, you will finally be able to activate the seal. By intervening with the soul of the caster, the Grim Reaper brings forth his own arm, pulls the soul of the target out of their body, and seals it by eating it. This includes the dead who have been brought back to life by worldly resurrection. Those who are subjected to this jutsu are almost certain to die. Just what you would expect from an s rank jutsu. Sealing Jutsu Genryu Kyufujin Phantom Dragon 9 Consuming Seals The sealing jutsu mentioned earlier is one of the top sealing jutsus that can be used on humans. But this jutsu can even seal tailed beasts that are even more difficult to seal. If the target is a tailed beast, up to 10 shinobi will be required to activate this jutsu. By focusing and concentrating your consciousness, the sealing statue can be activated. The mouth of the seal statue, a special chakra and shape of a dragon called sealing chakra is generated. The dragon is said to be able to entirely seal off the chakra of the tailed beast. The tailed beast that the Akatsuki had hunted were sealed up by this jutsu. However, it is said that even the monstrous Akatsuki needed a few days of preparation before they could use this technique. If it could seal even a tailed beast, there are probably no other sealing jutsu that can top this. Lightning Style Raikiri Lightning Cutter Raikiri is the only original jutsu by Kakashi, a jutsu where a huge amount of chakra is stored in one hand and released. The charged vast amount of chakras generate a ch 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 sound and as a result is named Chidori because it sounds like a thousand birds singing. And one of the users of that chidori is, of course, Sasuke. Kakashi gave it to Sasuke because he thought that Sasuke had an affinity to lightning style just like him. It was also because Sasuke fulfilled another requirement to use chidori. If you're to hit an opponent at high speed, it would also mean that your opponent can easily take advantage of the gap in your defense. If such a time comes, you'll need a dojutsu to see through the counterattack. Undoubtedly, the Sharingan. By the way, the official name of this jutsu is chidori. But only the chidori used by Kakashi is named Raikiri because of the anecdote that Kakashi split off a bolt of lightning when he used this jutsu. On top of his acquisition difficulty level being high, as it also requires a bloodline limit, it's no wonder that there are so few users of the chidori. Wind Style Rasengan Shuriken Wind Style Rasengan Shuriken is an original jutsu created by Naruto. It is a difficulty rank S jutsu with an extraordinary destructive power that works by further adding a wind nature transformation to the difficulty rank A Rasengan developed by Minato. Initially, it was considered nearly impossible to change the nature of the Rasengan, and even the inventors Minato and Kakashi Sensei were unable to do so. However, Using his own enormous amount of chakra and his tenacity, Naruto was able to make this jutsu happen, and now he had a very powerful weapon. On top of being torn apart, the victim of this jutsu will have their whole body cut into pieces by the wind chakra that are morphed into countless needles. The damage will be so severe that it will damage the meridian system of the cells. It is truly an ninjutsu that specializes in crippling the opponent. We've just introduced Chidori and Rasengan, but only Chidori is an S rank. The difficulty of acquiring the normal Rasengan is an A rank, but does this mean that the early Sasuke had more attack power than Naruto? While it is true that Sasuke's main jutsu is ranked higher, this rank is not based on power alone. The rank varies depending on the hand seals required to activate the jutsu, chakra control, the amount of chakra, and etc. Think back to the scene where Naruto and Sasuke activated their jutsu when they were still Ganins. When teaching Naruto the Rasengan, Jiraiya says that this technique doesn't need any hand seals and explains that it's a simple jutsu that will fit Naruto. On the other hand, in the scene where Sasuke uses Chidori in the Chunin exam, you can see him signing a number of hand seals. Regardless of the power, the Chidori is a more complex jutsu to begin with. As expected, the rank of the jutsu alone does not make a ninja superior or inferior. Sealing and Medical Ninjutsu Combo Yin Seal Ninja Art Mitotic Regeneration 
We have introduced two ninjutsu for sealing powerful objects, but there's also an S-rank jutsu combo that consists of breaking the seal. To understand this combo, you must first have an understanding of the 100 healings jutsu. The practitioner first applies the 100 healing mark and stores their chakra inside of it for a long time. The mark on the forehead of Tsunade and Sakura is the 100 healing mark. The chakra is stored there. The difficulty to acquire the 100 healing has not been revealed, so it will not be included in the S rank combo. From here on will be the combo. The Yin Seal Release will release the chakra stored in the mark, and the practitioner will be able to use the chakra in an instant without having to need it. With the vast amount of chakra that can be used in an instant, you can then activate the Ninja Art Mitotic Regeneration. This jutsu provides tremendous regeneration ability by forcibly activating one's own cells. Yin sealing and release will energize the chakra and creative regeneration will easily heal any wound. This S-rank combo will bring the practitioner to their peak condition. Serpent Ninjutsu Eight-Headed Serpent Jutsu the jutsu we're about to introduce now is said to be the ultimate in snake ninjutsu, but it has a black history of being instantly defeated by Itachi's Susanoo. When it comes to snake ninjutsu, it goes without saying that both its developer and user is Orochimaru. The eight-headed serpent jutsu, which transforms oneself into the Yamata no Orochi, with eight heads and eight tails, was created using the power of rebirth of the white snake as a medium. Puppet Type White Secret Technique Chikamatsu's 10 Puppets In Naruto, it is said that the number of puppets a puppet wielder can control at the same time is the measure of their power. This White Secret Technique Chikamatsu's 10 Puppets allows its user to use all 10 fingers to control and fight using 10 puppets. The one who understands the characteristics of each of the 10 puppets and can control them at the same time is Granny Chiyo, who is said to be a master of puppets. Furthermore, these 10 puppets are masterpieces created by the first puppet master, Munzaimon, and each of them has a high fighting power. It is said that just these 10 puppets can bring down a castle. With the ability to use two S-rank jutsu and the military strength to bring down a castle by herself, Chiyuba is truly to be feared. However, the next jutsu user we'll introduce next, who is also her grandson, may surpass even that Granny Chiyo. Puppet Red Secret Technique Performance of 100 Puppets The puppet master Granny Chiyo can use 10 puppets at the same time, but Sasori is a genius who can control more than 100 puppets at the same time with his Red Secret Technique, Performance of 100 Puppets. The Red Secret Technique, Performance of 100 Puppets, is a jutsu that he himself created. This is an extraordinary jutsu in which Sasori, who has enhanced his own body and become a puppet himself, can control and fight over 100 puppets at the same time by emitting chakra strings directly from his body. Needless to say, this is a jutsu that only Sasori can master, and one that an ordinary puppet wielder would never be able to master in their lifetime. That concludes our summary of the s rank acquisition difficulty level jutsus. When it comes to s rank jutsus, we think everyone thinks of the big offensive jutsu, but today we've looked back and found out that there are quite a few forbidden jutsu, sealing jutsu, and medical jutsu as well. The identification of the acquisition difficulty level is still complex, and we guess it includes not only the power of the jutsu, but also the skills needed to use it. Hooray to Kishimoto Sensei for adding such a realistic touch to his work. However, there are many jutsu whose acquisition difficulty level has not been revealed yet, just like the 100 healing jutsu. We personally think that the acquisition difficulty level of the Mangeku Sharingan is enough for S rank, even though it is a bloodline limit. But what jutsu do you think is S rank acquisition difficulty level? Please let us know in the comments. If you like Naruto, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be uploading videos with summaries, character ranks, discussions, etc. That will help you learn about the incredibly deep work that is Naruto. So be sure to do so.